Oh my god. Four threat fast demons! We were just doing the Titan reflection thing. We did it. Oh my gosh, that was good. Deal five damage to their face. Trigger pork chop, make a four four. What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jam, and today we are playing, I don't even know what it's called, Four Color Birthing Pod in Standard. Well, Birthing Pod is a card that had been banned for a very long time, still banned from Modern, that says, it's an artifact that says you can tap it, and you can basically sacrifice a creature to put another creature on the battlefield with one mana uh, greater. So similar to like an Enigmatic Incarnation, if you know what that card is from, uh, from, his, from um, uh, a Pioneer and Explorer, you can sacrifice an enchantment to get a creature out of your deck with one more mana value, kind of what that does. And there is a card that does that in standard. It's Vivian on the Hunt. It's a six mana, four loyalty, Planeswalker, plus two. You sacrifice a creature if you do. Search a library for a creature with mana value equal to one plus the sacrifice creature's mana value, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. You can plus one to mill five cards and put any number of creatures milled this way into your hand. And then you can also minus one to make a four, four green rhino warrior creature token. How are we going to utilize a, an engine, if you will, that can uh, facilitate this? We are going to be using Riveteer's Ascendancy. It's a three mana enchantment for Jund colors. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may return another, another creature with lesser mana value from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Do it only once each turn. So you sacrifice a creature with Vivian to bring out a higher mana value creature like, you know, Workshop Warchief, Cemetery Desecrator, Tovalar's Huntmaster, uh, Zeotora Incinerator, Dreadfast Demon, Toxroll the Corrosive, and Titan of Industry. And we can sacrifice those to bring back other cards with lesser mana value from our graveyard. There's also a combo in this deck with Jaxus the Troublemaker and Radadrabic of Urborg, which is, this is why it's four colors. We're adding white mana for this card and Spirit Sisters Call. Because we can with Spirit Sisters Call, you can sacrifice our creatures to bring out a lot of huge creatures from the graveyard. Radadrabic says that whenever another legendary you control dies, make a token that's a copy of it, except that it's not, not legendary, and it's a 2-2 black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Well, Jaxus, unlike Fable of the Mirror Breaker, can copy legendary creatures. So what you do is, you you have Radadrabic on board, you blitz Jaxus, you, you use it because it has haste to go red mana, tap it, copy the Radadrabic. So now you have two Radadrabics on board. One is a, one, uh, you have two copies. And then Jaxus sacrifices itself at the end step to the Blitz trigger. You draw a card, Radadrabic triggers twice, which means you make two copies of Jaxus the Troublemaker as two, two, as two, two tokens. So now you have two, 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 two Jaxuses. And then you can do the same thing over and over again to copy to go, when, when it goes to your next turn, to use both Jaxuses to copy both Radadrabics again, and now you have four Radadrabics, and then Radadrabic copies uh, copies the Jaxus again, and now you have four Jaxuses, and then you have eight Jaxuses, and then you have like you you get you get it right. Then you have sixteen of them, and and it just gets out of hand. So it's kind of like it's kind of a combo that can get out of hand. Let's bring our creatures back with Reverend Tears and Ascendancy and tutor out our combo with Vivian on the hunt. Anyways, I hope you like it. It's a different deck than we usually do, but I hope you're in for the fun like we are. Like the video if you want to reach us to more people, and also subscribe if you're new here or you want to see more standard best of one content like this. Anyways, let's get into the matches, and it all starts right now. All right, all we need is one land. One land, we got there. Two more draws at it. That'll do. That'll do. What? Whenever one or more non-token creatures dies, make a 2-2 zombie with decayed. Pretty strong. Are we blocking this? Yes. I don't love it. I don't like it. 
It's just where we are. Lands are good. We play that. Made a treasure token. World of Opportunities is such a good card in a lot of decks, especially those with Decay Zombies. Oh, for sure. Draws a card every turn. Especially like this. Whenever a creature die makes a Decayed Zombie, so they just like... Creature dies, they draw a card, make another one. Creature dies, make, draw a card, make another one. It looks like a Cleric's deck. Because Morbid Opportunities... Well, Morbid Opportunities is not a Cleric. Maybe it's just like... Black, white, life gain value? Oh. Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Desecrator. Be a shame if something happened to their Shelly. Just not yet. All right. What are we doing now? We can go Vivian. We can plus reflection for we can plus rutstein for our own shield red. I kind of want to kill the shield red, but I need a pork chop. I need a pork chop. I think I'm just casting this and getting rid of the opportunist. Then we can copy it with reflection. Phyrexian, getting back to Opportunist. Wow, what a... What an annoyance. All right. Ruiteer's Ascendancy. It could be good here. Let's go Jewel Thief. Ascendancy. Wait. Crap, I messed up. I thought I had one more mana. Play a land. I was gonna ascendancy to bring back the blood tithe. But it's not gonna work out. So we'll dismantle the rest of their board, I guess. This exiles this. This is gonna deal this to this. They're gonna make a thing. That's fine. We'll attack. I must I must say reflection plus desecrator is pretty sweet. This happens. Desecrator dies. We exile this to do this. Granted, we could have just killed children with two shots at it. Morbid. Mm. 
another fr procession. So we can Vivian Rutstein into our own children. Shadow right. Oh god, I gotta kill that. Dragon Johns, how's it going? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go land. Well, something has to get sacrificed somehow. I need one more mana for this to be good. Okay, it's still gonna be fine. We can go Vivian plus on Desecrator. We can go Vivian, copy, we can go class Vivian, use the treasure to copy Desecrator, kill something, sack the Desecrator. But I kind of only want to do that when we have Reverse Tears Ascendancy on the board already. So I think we're just going to go with Ascendancy. November 10th is National Thank a Mod Day. Is it really, Murph? Desecrator is going to do this. I really need to kill that Mor that right Shadow Right Priest. But I also need to kill the Morbid Opportunist. We're going to exile Missionary. I need to kill the Shadow Right Priest. They're going to get a draw with the Opportunist, that's fine. They're getting value. Way too much value. Attack with these two. Because if Jewel Thief gets blocked by Shieldred, I can use Cemetery Desecrator to finish it off. So it's a free attack. Then this happens. Riveteer's Ascendancy triggers. Brings back my Blood Tithe Harvester since my Desecrator died. Take action. That makes a Blood Token. This exiles. This, I guess. And it deals minus two, minus two to uh, that. We're doing stuff. Yeah, they got a card from Opportunist already. A third Ghoul's Procession. What is going on here? They get a draw. They're at 37 life. Yeah, I got Nuno a new Tesla. All right, please don't draw right of oblivion or whatever they have. I just said that. I just said don't draw right of oblivion. What the heck? And how do they always have the exact card? All right, we play a land. Um, I have an idea. We don't go. We don't go right away for a seven drop, right? Our seven drops are uh, Zeatora and Dreadfast Demon and Toxrail. We could go for Toxrail, but I think I like the play of this sacrificing jewel thief we get jaxus this gets blood tithe 
Wow, it works with my creatures die too? What the heck? And then Blood Tithe kills... Shieldred. Can we pass? And then they're gonna write up a- wait, we should have a- No, Discreator doesn't work when it attacks, right? No, enters battlefield or dies. And now Jaxus is going to get right of Oblivion. Unfortunately. They're gonna draw a card. Shadow right. No. We have to kill that now. Okay, so now we have to sacrifice Cemetery Desecrator. And we do that, we can get the other blood tithe out of the graveyard and kill the Shadow Rite and the and the opportunist. Fable. That's a card. Alright, what does Death of the Creator get? Death Creator gets Toxroll. I guess it could get Dreadfast Demon. I think I want it to be Toxroll though. Alright, so what we do here. We use Harvester. Crap, we can't actually do that do it that way. Because we have to kill Shadow White Priest or else we're gonna search for any black creature and put it on the battlefield. We go for this. We go for this. Uh, we have to kill the Shadow, right? They make a bunch of stuff. We might just die to these all of these. We attack. We use Vivian. We sack the Desecrator. We might have to go for Titan and gain life, honestly. No, I guess it's just Toxro. This River Tears Ascendancy brings back Blood Tithe. And then that makes a thing. Cemetery Desecrator exiles Shieldred to kill the Morbid Opportunist. Oh my god. Oh, that was so much thinking. Cut down. Every time. Turn to underdog. What? They didn't have underdog? Weird.
No more cutdowns or infernal grasps? Wow, opponent. Must be in Liliana or Infernal Grasp. No, Liliana or Graveyard Trespasser. A Karn Silex? What the crap? Am I supposed to beat that? So we're just not going to use the Silex this turn? What time is it? 7.43 my time? I'm just going to cast Dreadfast Demon. Silex can't hurt that. Hard cast. Let's go. Sacrifice. Gloom Shrieker. Beat that, Karn Silex. It's shield red o'clock. Probably haven't built the spare. Okay. Hello. Huntmaster. If we could River Tears Ascendancy and Requisitioner, and then sack the Re Requisitioner for Dreadfast Demon. That doesn't really make sense. Wait, we can hunt master plus du get double demon. Watch this. Hunt master, make two things, double demon trigger, sacrifice, sacrifice, <laughs> four dread mass demons. Beat that opponent. How's that, Mono Black? Yeah, invoke the spare of that. Sure. I sack my hunt master. Yeah, twelve life, you think you think that's enough? Eat twenty-four of it. Oh, baby. Mono Black.
Okay. Attack. And then we'll cast Fable. Where's that March card? Titan. Oh, we're busted. Right? We can just Spirit Sisters call the 2 2 for Titan. And then we can like old Rutstein again. <laughs> they GG'd again. Infernal Grasp by 4 4. Okay. Gadar, okay. Land, that's good. Uh, let's see. I think we should just chill. Because if we attack, they go Tainted Adversary block, I lose the thing. Or they go Jadar block. I guess that's still okay. But I'd rather, I think I'd rather keep this on there. We just pass. And I think I want my death cap blade and I'll change that out for a sulfur springs. Just because this doesn't take damage. And I already have a lot of red sources anyway. Invoke Despair. Crap. I'll sack Rutstein. I'll sack Spirit Sisters Call. Then I can use Reflection on Titan. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to use Reflection on Titan right now as much as I want to just Blood Tithe Harvester this Tainted Adversary. We can Vivian sacrifice a creature, but I don't really want to do that right now. Vivian sacking Titan is interesting. No, no, not Vivian sacking Titan. Uh, let's just do this. I just want to do this. I want to make a 4-4 and put a shield counter on the Reflection just so I don't kill it. Let's shield our stuff. Well, it seems to me like this deck is broken because we found Reflection of Kikijiki plus Titan of Industry and that's good together. And that's why it's good. Not necessarily the fact that the whole deck together is good. We've, we're just doing the Titan Reflection thing.
Not that my hand does anything right now, but I have all my mana. Giada. Alright, I don't need more lands. I need less. You ever go in the play queue? Not really. This mana is very painful. Sarah Paragon. The heck is Candle Trap? As Defender? What? Like, this doesn't have reach and I'm probably dead to flyers, but at least I get to gain life. I guess next turn I can go get a cemetery desecrator. What the heck? Defender again? I mean, I guess I don't really care. But I don't, like, of course. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do this. Another war chief. Cemetery desecrator does what again? Target creature and opponent controls gets plus minus X minus X where X is the mana value of the exiled card. So I can sack Warchief with Vivian, bring the thing out, kill the Paragon. Okay. They probably have Infernal Grasp. We can also do Zeatora. Let's go for Desecrator. And then, do I want to get rid of the Sarah Paragon? Yes, right? So I want to exile... Warchief? To give Paragon minus five, minus five? And then I can keep copying that with Reflection and getting rid of their whole board. Oh my gosh, shield counter does not work. I guess they just wanted to scry. Wow. All right, hopefully I don't die. I don't think I will. I'm at five. Archangel, whoa. Okay. 
They're attacking? What? All right, Rutz, Rutstein can get... Wait. Rutstein gets what? Jaxus or Radadrabic? I need to exile Titan out of my graveyard though, right? With Cemetery Desecrator? Wait, no, 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 no. Win a war chief. We war chief. We gain life. We use Vivian to sack the war chief. We go get Ziatora. War chief dies, make a 4 4. Then we reflection. Copy the Desecrator. This triggers exiling War Chief to give minus five, minus five to Archangel of Wrath. Play our land. Attack for a lot. Ziatora sacrifices. Doesn't matter at this point. Sacrifices Desecrator. It's going to get sacked anyway. That's going to deal four damage to Giada. And then it dies. And then I get to exile Tenacious Underdog to remove X counters from that. We're doing it. We did it. Ah. Thalia. Wow, that turned off like everything. Here we go. Anointed Peacekeeper, every time. <laughs> it's just comical at this point. It always, always happens. It's always turn two, Thalia, turn three, Noity Peacekeeper. At this point, I'm surprised they didn't have Hotshot Mechanic on turn one. Or the other one. Hopeful Initiate. They called Fable. Go figure. I'll play my thing that blocks Thalia. Of course they have Brutal Cathar. My Fable is now six mana. So is everything else, to be honest. All right, can the opponent just calm down for one turn? Just calm down for one single turn, please. Just one turn, just, just give me a turn, any turn. All right, they're not immediately killing my thing, which is good. If they had Brutal Cathar, they would have cast it already. The more seconds that go by are more seconds that they don't have it.
Uh, sure. They can't Emperor because they can't cast Emperor. They have a Thalia. Diddy, thanks for the follow. All right, so now we can cast our Fable. Valor stands by 4 4. Nice. Give me an untap land. Oh, they had the hot shot mechanic anyway. All right, that's not an untap land, but I, I guess it's a land. It is a playable magic card. Peacekeeper again. Straight banger city in my opponent's land. Banger city. I guess I have two, I have like three six drops right now, technically, that whichever one they call is fine, I guess. They're attacking with Brutal Cathar. What? I'd like my Jaxus back. Cliff Soren, how's it going? Thanks for the follow. Alright, so we Spirit Sisters call. Sacking for Workshop. Or do we just Vivian? We could just Vivian plus for another Workshop. Or I could just Vivian minus to make a 4 4. I think I'm going to Vivian. And we're going to make a 4 4. Just don't have another Brutal Cathar, please. Or Valor Stance. Or Destroy Evil. Guardian? Alright, we take those. So I guess we can Riveteer's Ascendancy. Use Jaxus to copy Fable. And then Fable can copy a 4-4. Four -four, and then Ascendancy can sacrifice the copied Fable and bring back Zeatora. No, Sacrifice the Copied Fable can't bring back anything because Riveters Ascendancy doesn't work like that. Spirit Sisters Call can bring can can sacrifice something to bring back Zeotora, which sacrifices the other thing. You know what? They could actually just have Iganjo here. But I'll save my Vivian and just take it if they have Iganjo. Why do they always have it? I don't have time for this. That's a freaking Toxrill. I mean, I can, I can get a Shieldred. Or a Radadrabic. Oh, I can get the Radadrabic. We can Radadrabic combo. I'm pretty sure. What's better, Rider Jabba combo or Toxrill? We plus Vivian, sacrifice the reflection, get Rider Drabic, Jaxus, copy Rider Drabic. Rider Drabic sacrifices, makes another copy. We should probably just Toxrill.
The combo might only work. The hunt is only beginning. Oh my gosh, that was good. The combo might only work. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's on ETB and death. Oh. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Wait, but does that work? Oh my gosh, I think that works. Oh. Oh no. Oh, punted. Wait. No, it wasn't a punt. It wasn't a punt because you can't kill Shelly because I didn't have a mana value five card in the graveyard anymore. Not a punt. He's six. I need one in the graveyard. Oh, you can exile itself? I have to read that card. Is there another creature or, it's, or any creature? Exile another card from a graveyard. Nope, not, not a punt. Not a punt. Another card. What the heck is this? A double striker? <laughs> Reading cards is for losers. How about that doesn't die? Please don't safekeeping this. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. God, that hearse is so good against my deck. Oh, it died. Oh. The hearse is pretty freaking good against us. All right, Riveteer's Ascendancy does nothing now. We are going to have to survive off of work or off of pork chops alone. It's going to be pork chop day. Who's hungry? And don't say the wandering emperor. That's a Renin 7. Okay. We like that. Root Quell, Creeper, or Johnny, so they're playing Storm the Festival. Looks like they're going to have to die. Wait, what are the chances they play farewell? Pretty freaking high. If we cast Zeotora, we just get farewelled. So that the River Tears Ascendancy is the bait. No, we just wait. Our ascendancy is so bad, we're just pitching them to bloods. That's a jewel thief. You know what? I'm just casting this to make them scared of it or something. I don't know. They probably farewell us. They're definitely playing farewell. They have seven mana available. I say definitely playing farewell because they're playing a lot of planeswalkers. We've already seen them play Ren and Seven. We've seen them play a Johnny. That's a Storm in the Fest. We already knew they were playing that, it just like based on how their deck was constructed. 
And if they're going to ramp into Storm the Festival, they might also ramp into freaking Farewell. They're going to draw a card with the Bank Buster. All right. One, two, three, four. Are they dead? They might be dead. They're playing the double strike, dude? Yeah, they are playing the Discipline Duelist. So they're dead. Zeatora sacrifices Workshop Warchief. Boom. Zeatora sacrificed the Pork Chop. Deal five damage to their face. Trigger war trigger pork chop, make a 4-4. Four, four. All right, Jamers, thank you very much for hanging out. If I had to make any changes in this deck, it probably would be to take out the Riveteer's Ascendancy, even in that, but in that first game, Ascendancy actually brought back the Blood Tithe Harvester like three different times. So maybe I would play like one or two of them, but maybe not the full four. I think Spirit Sisters Call is probably a better card to play in that spot. But anyways, thanks for hanging out. We got a really cool wins. Uh, check out the next video on the channel if you do care uh, about that and watching more content like standard best of one from me. Give this channel a subscribe if you do want to see more or you're new here. Thank you very much for that. And we'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.